I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And today we're doing a road trip in New South Wales, Australia. In this Australia vlog, we're taking you on the ultimate Sydney weekend road trip, visiting South Coast New South Wales towns of Kiama, Barrie, Nara and Jarvis Bay. We discover the best eats, things to do and more. We're going to stop off at Kiama first. We're at the beautiful coastal town of Kiama. So we've got an, an awesome rainbow behind me and we've got the Kiama blowhole this way. So the Kiama blowhole is the biggest attraction of this town, uh, but there's plenty more to see. There's a really beautiful coastal walk along here. There's plenty of beaches as well. Let's check out the blowhole. So this is the Kiama blowhole. So it's a really impressive feat of nature. So you just got to be patient and wait for the right time. Was that good? <laughs> there are also plenty of beaches around Kiama to enjoy. We stopped at Bombo Beach just north of Kiama. It was a perfect spot for a pit stop with toilets, a coastal walk to stretch your legs and plenty of spots to have a scenic picnic. is a really charming small town in the south coast of New South Wales. So it used to be on the main thoroughfare, but there's now a bypass here since we last came here. Barrie has such a lovely small town feel. It's got boutique shopping, a great food scene. And at the first Sunday of each month, there's the famous Barrie markets. I just loved exploring the boutique shops in Barrie. There was such a great range of stores selling clothing, homewares, artisanal food and more. The Berry Tea Shop was my favourite. It was such a beautifully presented space with endless varieties of teas to choose from. I liked that you could sample their tea of the day. The Tea Shop also runs a cafe, but make sure you get there before they close the kitchen at 3pm. If you want some locally produced goods in Barrie, come to the Treat Factory, just on the outskirts of town near the train station. We're getting some locally made honey. The Barrie Donut Van is an institution in Barrie. So it's been around since 1974, and I can remember as a kid, whenever we passed through Barrie, we'd always stop here to try their delicious donuts. So their specialty is the simple cinnamon donut. So simple, so tasty. So we've got the two donuts and milkshake deal. So we've just got a chocolate milkshake here as well. So it's nice and fluffy on the inside and a little bit of a crunch on the outside. And that cinnamon is just so sweet and tasty. Oh, it is the perfect indulgent snack. If you're looking for some indulgence when you're in Berry, make sure you check this place out. If you're looking for dinner in Berry, you can't go past Berry Thai. It's a really cute little restaurant and they've got a great selection of all of your Thai favourites. Now we've gone with the duck red curry with rye cheese. So that sounds really delicious. It's got pineapple as well as other different vegetables in there. And we've got it with steamed jasmine rice. This was $26.90 plus $4 for the rice. I'll get some lychee on there and some duck. Oh, I can smell the basil. Mmm, that is so good. That red curry is just spot on flavor wise. The lychee is really nice and juicy and the duck is very tender and succulent. Berry Thai is very popular. We are here at five o'clock and we just managed to get a booking, but it's Wednesday night and it's fully booked tonight. So make sure you book ahead.
Jarvis Bay is on the south coast of New South Wales. It's famed for its pristine white beaches and its relaxed atmosphere. One of the big Jarvis Bay attractions are the dolphin tours, where you can get up close and personal with these fascinating creatures. There are even Sydney day trip dolphin tours available. Check out the links in our description for more details. This is Holmes Beach in Jarvis Bay. So it's known as one of Australia's best beaches and it's most well known for its really white sand. And I think it'd be a great place to go swimming because it's quite protected from the bay. There isn't much surf. And on a really clear day, that white sand makes the waters look an amazing turquoise color. In Australia, after heavy rain, it's recommended not to go swimming in the ocean for a day or two, because that's because a lot of the pollution and sediment goes into the sea. So here you can see it's a little bit murkier than normal. So we're probably not gonna to swim today, unfortunately. Nowra is the biggest city in the Shoalhaven area, and so if you're looking for a city vibe, then Nowra is the place for you. It's got all the amenities that you could hope for. It's only half an hour drive from the best beaches of Jarvis Bay. If you're looking for your caffeine fix, make sure you come to the Bearded Brewers. So they're in South Nowra. It's a little bit outside the main town, but if you're driving through, then it's really only maybe three to five minutes off Princess Highway. Uh, so I really love this space. It's, it's in an industrial area. It looks like a converted warehouse. It's got a really cool vibe to it. For our caffeine fix this morning, we're going with an affogato. So that's ice cream with a shot of coffee. So I've got two scoops of ice cream, which is pretty good value. And this was $6. Mm, I'm gonna try some of the coffee. That coffee is really smooth and it's got a pretty intense flavor to it as well. Oh, that's really nice. And I just love mixing it up with the ice cream. It makes it just that perfect sweetness and bitterness all combined. I love it. The Tea Club in Nowra is a really beautiful space. So they've got this really enchanted courtyard area out the back and they've got a range of meals for under $20. So this is the beef nachos and it was $17.50. It looks really beautiful and it's been a while since I've had nachos. I'm looking forward to getting into it. So they've also got burgers, they've got salads, vegetarian dishes you name it. So some really great options and they also do drinks as well. a lot of Indian restaurants. Now we've come to one of the best objectively. This is Two Brown Men. They've only been around since 2022, but they're quickly making waves. So they won the Nowra's Local Hero Food Award in 2023 as you know, the best food in Nowra. What I love about this place is that it's an Indian Western fusion. So East meets West and there are some really awesome flavors to choose from. So they've got pizzas and burgers and sandwiches, but giving them a bit of an Indian twist. What I've ordered is the butter chicken parmi. I love a good chicken parmigiana, but instead of a tomato sauce, they've done a butter chicken sauce. So that was too good to miss. So that's a really interesting combination of flavors. You've got the butter chicken sauce, which is smooth, aromatic, very tasty, and a little bit sweet. And you mix that with the chicken and adding it with the, the cheese gives it, I, I think it works, it really works. This is such a cool combination. And to top it off, they've even got chicken salt 
on the fries as well. So uh, they're really catering to the Aussie palate here. It's awesome. So this pummel was $26. And you can also get a range of Indian curries and more traditional foods as well. We're with Ayush, who's the owner and head chef of Two Brown Men in Nara. Yeah. So can you tell us a bit about your business? I am the head chef and the owner of this uh, small business in the town of Nara. And I've been running this business in Nara for the last uh, two years, approximately. We do all sort of Indian fusion food, um, which includes uh, butter chicken burger, chicken 65 burger, butter chicken parmies on the menu and other things as well. Great. And what inspired you to do Indian fusion cooking? I've been working in Australia for the last 10 years and I've worked in different places. I always wanted to create a place where I could do fusion food, like combining Indian food into the Western food. And that's how the idea came in. And now here we are. So definitely check out Two Brown Men in Nara. We hope you enjoyed our New South Wales South Coast Travel Guide. If you did, give us a like and leave a comment. If you're looking for more South Coast New South Wales travel vlogs, we also explore what it's like to live on the South Coast, as well as uncover amazing eats in our Milton New South Wales South Coast Food Guide. To watch these and more Australia travel vlogs, make sure you subscribe.